Okay, so I'm going to show you how to turn a percent into a fraction. And we learned that the word percent means out of 100. So it's just a fraction that's out of 100. So you're going to write the percent, whatever the number is, write it as fraction over 100. And then you have to simplify. So I'm going to write that nice and big, all capital letters. That is what people always forget to do. So don't forget to simplify your answer. So remember that when you simplify a fraction, you only simplify if you have to simplify. So sometimes you'll get lucky. One example would be 67%. So we're going to write that as a fraction over 100. 67 over 100. And then I look to see if I can simplify. 67 is a prime number, so the only thing I could divide that by is 67, which does not go into 100. So that's my answer. Okay, so sometimes you'll get lucky like that. Okay, another example would be 22%. Now this is more like what you're usually going to see. So again, percent means out of 100, so that's 22 out of 100, but we have to simplify. Both of those are even numbers, so we can divide them by 2. Half of 22 is 11, and half of 100 is 50. Now, 11 is prime, and it doesn't go into 50, so that means that I'm done with that one. Every once in a while, you will get a percent that is over 100, larger than 100%. So, 125%, you still put over 100. It's just an improper fraction. I can simplify that. I could divide by 5, but I can divide by something even bigger because 25 goes into both of those. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. So that goes in 5 times. 25, 50, 75, 100. So that goes in 4 times. That would be my answer, except it's still improper. So remember that 4 goes into 5 one whole time with 1 left over and my denominator stays the same. So it's not too complicated uh, to turn a fraction to a percent to a fraction. Put it over 100, simplify it if you 